It's been almost a full year since the original release of the custom firmware for the Launchpad Pro. In this video, I'm going to showcase all of the upgrades I've made to the custom firmware since release. The most important new addition to the firmware is support for the Novation USB driver, which allows you to use your Launchpad with multiple applications at the same time. Special shoutout for this one goes to Novation for ghosting me for months about the issue until I managed to find a workaround myself. There's now a performance mode setting that allows you to switch between the drum rack layout and the XY layout commonly found on the programmer mode. The new XY layout offers a more intuitive way of ordering the buttons on your launchpad, ordering them logically per row instead of the arbitrary layout that the drum rack uses. Additionally, the performance mode has received support for flashing and pulsing. Palettes created on the onboard editor can now be downloaded to your computer and saved as a Retina file. If you use the Outbreak Multi plugin, entering the setup will now reset all of your multi samples. A new mode called the Piano Mode has made its way on the launchpad. This mode features four rows, each consisting of an octave, laid out very similarly to a piano. This allows for a new and intuitive way of playing instruments on the launchpad. The launchpad now renders an idle animation if there's been no activity on the USB port for a while. All modes now support aftertouch output, in left to right order, disabled, channel pressure mode, and polyphonic aftertouch mode. And the final new addition is support for the standalone 3.5mm outputs on the launchpad. I hope these improvements to the firmware help you enjoy it more than you ever could before. Thanks for watching. Bye.